Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to do your September 2018 general reading. It's a general read so it may not resonate with every Sagittarius who views the video, but if it does resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe, subscribe to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. Make sure you're commenting below. Your comments can help out another Sagittarius. Sometimes we feel a little bit warm when we know that maybe somebody's going through the same thing we're going through across the world. So, um, yeah, comment below. Let's start with love. We're going to do a five card advice for Sagittarius and love. All right. What are the love messages for Sagittarius? The first card is you right where you are. The second card is, are you on your correct path? Let's see. All right. The third card is your main obstacle. The fourth card is what's helping you. The fifth card is, how can progress be made? All right. That one flipped out and over for you. Bottom of the deck, the tower card. All right. So it looks like for Sagittarius in love we need to have some some falsehoods some things built on shaky and faulty ground we need to um have that come down now this could be physically a relationship ending um this could be a dynamic um within a, your mind this could be a mindset you've got to break down all of that that falsehood that I'm hearing surmounting problems. It was always problems and it just kept building up until it built up into a tower. And and you are the tower. You know, um you have shielded yourself or your your emotions, your mindset. And you have to break it down. You have to release this. Um so that spirit, universe, God, whatever you believe in can come in and actually build you your mindset back up into a um, a situation that stars correctly it can be built up to the four of wands type of uh, stability some of you somebody finds out something there's like an unforeseen un unexpected event happens someone finds out something you find out something it shifts the energy let's see this is you right where you are the four of wands you build in something you have built something a solid ground it could be a relationship are you on your correct path it says no you need to put an ending to something so that a new a new start because this is ending and then it's newness and then we have the tower here so definitely it might this is definitely relationship wise something needs to end uh, your main obstacle is opposition is jealousy is interference is the the outside coming into a, a situation um, you having to do battle verbal battle there might be verbal battle within your relationship uh, due to someone else interfering this could be family this could be a third party I mean it could be anybody you could be with a Scorpio you could be with a Gemini Libra Aquarius another fire sign Aries Sagittarius Leo what's helping you here wow an ending the ten of swords you've something has come to a culmination that this is just not working it's not it's not going to work. It hasn't been working. It needs to end. Um, it may come by way of you feeling backstabbed and, and, and or betrayed or you doing this to someone else. How can progress be made? Speak your truth. Speak the truth. Then you can have a new start. This is a new start, a victorious start, only by way of clear communication about possibly about how something needs to end. And it may be sudden, it may be unexpected. So that's the love advice. I'm sorry, it's not so hunky dory, but a Sagittarius has been trying to get to someone else for a while. 
Um, we've got some Sagittarius walking away from air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, walking away from water signs, uh, specifically Scorpio, um, trying to get to Cancer. We've got some Sagittarius with other um, fire signs, Leo in particular. It might be an ending. Um, know that with all endings are new beginnings. There's a silver lining in this cloud. And, and you guys have been going through this energy for a while. Let's get some career and finance messages for Sagittarius. Career and finance messages for Sagittarius. Career and finance. Bottom of the deck. Nice. Queen of Wands. Outgoing, charismatic, could be self-employed, um, intuitive, sexy, attractive, is a leader, can organize the people. Let's see. Will of Fortune, nice. Six of Pentacles, there might be some big payoff for you. The lucky break that brings you a big payoff of Sagittarius. Wow, that'll put you at maybe a level of status that you try to maintain or you are already at my ace of swords again it looks like um you're going to be victorious uh some of you you already going through divorce or you're waiting for a settlement or something of that nature you're waiting for judgment um you're waiting for uh someone to render a verdict here or Definitely a large payout. This is the Ten of Pentacles together with the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Swords. Nice. Some of you could be having a shift, a change in business. Business is doing very well for you. Um, some of you, if you tweak whatever you're doing in business, it can bring you an even greater um, payout, larger payout. Nice. Career finance is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I want some of that energy. All right, so let's get some angel answers. All right, opportunity. It looks like you'll have that here in love and in career finance. Forgiveness. Wow, a year from now. Definitely, you might have to ask for forgiveness or someone you know, needs to forgive you, you know, or vice versa. One more, a year from now, your, your life may look very different a year from now. Communicate clearly. Wow. Leo just got this. Communicate clearly. And you got the Ace of Swords twice. Some of you are just doing what a Sag will do. Just let stuff happen. Just go with the flow. No, you got to open up your mouth, communicate clearly about what it is you want, what it is you, you seek in the near future at the bottom of the deck. These are your angel answers. So if you have questions, here are your answers. Opportunity, forgiveness. A year from now, communicate clearly. Be very clear and concise about where you stand and what you want. Let's get you some butterfly oracle cards. And then let's close it out. It looks like an ending for some of you brings um, a large payout. Or if you're the man Sagittarius, what you're going to have to pay out, maybe an alimony or child support, is less than what you're thinking. It still, you know, it allows you to still maintain your status, uh, whatever that may be. Okay. Bottom of the deck, adult children. Young adult children are highlighted here. Um, let's see. Keep the faith, realizations, and epiphanies. Dietary change. Leo got that also. New exercise. Leo got that also. Some of you, I mean, that's self-explanatory. Dietary change. New exercise program. Veganism, vegetarianism, pescatarianism, whatever. Uh, curbing your diet. I mean, it's here for you. So if you're thinking about it, the cards are um, highlighting it for you. Keep the faith. Definitely, because it looks like you get what you want. You have two victories. Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords in love, Ace of Swords in 
uh, career in finance, realizations and epiphanies. I think you, you start to realize that this just can't go on any longer. Um, and then you, you realize that you have an opportunity here, an opportunity to have the life that you want. Adult children are highlighted here. Um, they may be in the midst of a divorce for some of you, young adult children. Some of you have adult children here in the midst of a relationship with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, even a Scorpio or whomever. But they're highlighted because either this, uh, these young adult children played a part in the demise or the, or the destruction of the relationship or something about money. Money and adult children, they, I don't know, you guys have to pull in that energy if that resonates for you. Something about the adult children. Uh, shifted the energy between you and your partner okay um, and it could be your children or the other children or something about not treating children fairly equally I don't know realizations and epiphanies you just got to keep the faith that this is going to work out for some of you, you might be getting a payout with the divorce all right so if this resonated for you please like share comment subscribe to the channel it is much appreciated uh, all of my information is below if you want to contact me for a personal reading I have a $20 two question reading special going on take advantage of that um, thank you once again take care guys remember to stay in prayer I am praying for you pray for me as well I'll see you in, in what's in October right <laughs> bye